Welcome to Tyrannosaurus Riffs. My name is Brandon and today we're going to unbox a new guitar. All right, what's going on everyone? I hope you're doing well out there. Recently, I've sold a ton of gear. I've actually had some guitar selling, sold a couple amps. Um, and of course, the room got a little bit emptier. So I bought a guitar that I've been wanting for quite a while. Now, I didn't know exactly which model I was looking for, but uh, let's just get into this so we can talk about that a little bit more. Got my trusty butter knife for us, and we're gonna cut open this extremely dirty box and see what we have. Oh my hell, come on. Okay, that's cool. You're probably wondering, what's cool, Brandon? What's cool? The box is bugging me. The case says Stingray right here. Probably can't see it that far. I was covering it right there in the red. Okay, so I've wanted a Stingray for quite a while. I love signature guitars. If you've been hanging around the channel, you know that. So, and honestly, there's three guys that made me want to start my own YouTube. And one of them plays a Stingray fluff. So it's not the fluff signature model, but I came across this one. This was used secondhand. It's 2018 Sweetwater exclusive. I'll show it to you first as best I can. Okay. I can't really see it. Ah, that's not working. Oh, shh. Toasty! Okay. Let's just flip this around. Okay, so this is a two. It's a little loose the input jack. That's okay. That can be adjusted. Not hopefully nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. So this is a 2018 Sweetwater exclusive. This is the Eclipse Sparkle. Now I did not know. Holy, this is beautiful. I did not know there was any stingrays with any kind of a tremolo so that's a lot of the reason i had a hard time finding one i wanted and when i came across this one and realized it had a tremolo i was really excited now this is a vintage style so that means i can dive bomb but i can't pull up it's blocked off with a right against the body actually so let me come over there and give you guys a better look at this and let's kind of inspect it together Look at that finish. That sparkle is amazing on this. It's a lot darker than the pictures made it look, which I really, really like. Sorry, I know it's not the best lighting at this time. I love the matching headstock too. What a beautiful instrument. But what's even more beautiful is this neck. Look at, check this out. So they've left the headstock gloss, which is kind of cool, while the roasted flamed maple, I don't know if that's really flamed. Anyways, the roasted maple is very, it's very dark and beautiful. I really, I love the look of that. That is pretty, but it's got the um, kind of a satin waxy, because they do gunstock oil with wax on this. That is a beautiful instrument. So checking it out on the listing on reverb, it says there was a tiny ding in the body. 
I honestly, oh, yeah, I don't think I could even get that to show up on film. Maybe I can. Where'd it go? It's pretty non-existent. You can kind of see it there with the glare. But, I mean, that's that's not a deal breaker for me. Like, I can get over that. Um, Pickguard's a little scratch. That's pretty normal wear and tear. Sides look really, really good. I'm, I imagine this spent a lot of time in its case because it's not got your regular amount of, uh, like, buckle rash or something like that even. Because this is, this is excellent condition. The seller also noted there's a tiny marking on the neck and they think it came from the warehouse like that. Um, it's actually pretty noticeable right here, but I don't know. Okay, so there's two. I don't think that's gonna show up. Kind of if you can see right there and then a little bit right there. It's not super smooth. Can't really see it. Um, you can feel it for sure, but it's not something that's going to hinder my playing by any means. So I really enjoy the matching headstock. I do like the two humbucker configuration. The fluff one, the Teeley Dan was the other RS I was looking at, and that actually has a single coil in the neck, which I'm fine with because I love single coil tones in the neck pickup, but uh, this is gonna work out too. I will do a dedicated video on this guitar specifically, as is stock, but at some point in the near future, more than likely I've already got it in my head that I'm changing these pickups because they're explained as more of a low output, kind of a vintage, vintage warm, a low output vintage warm kind of pickup, which I'm sure will sound fine but I want to, we're gonna put my favorite pickups in this, the Fishman Fluence Devon Townsend. And we're actually gonna take those out of my beloved EC1000 and that's gonna get something else. I don't know what that's gonna get yet. But anyways, I just wanted to share this experience with you. This is uh, my second music man. I know I haven't done my video on the Jason Richardson yet. I wanted to make sure I wasn't just in a honeymoon phase with that thing. So we'll get a couple Music Man videos in the next month or so. I've got a lot of different videos I'm trying to make happen and kind of trying to get on somewhat of a schedule just so uh, there's kind of a pattern going forward. Unless I'm working with someone specifically, then that'll take priority. So anyways, I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, be on the lookout for this guitar. You will see this in future videos. It'll get a dedicated video and I'm sure that I'll have this for quite a while. By the way, this has a 10 inch, last note, this has a 10 inch radius is what it noticed. A 10 inch neck radius is what is noted for this guitar. Um, it actually feels really nice to me. I saw a couple of videos where people didn't necessarily like the neck, but I don't foresee that being a challenge for me. So thanks again for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.